Today we are going to conduct an impact test on an artificial turf field. We are standing at Casey Middle School in Boulder, Colorado, and this field was built in 2009. So this field is coming up on seven years old. Uh, it's a public middle school. It does see a lot of community use. So this is a very typical scenario of a uh, seven-year-old uh, field. The test that we're going to conduct is called ASTM 1292, and we're going to use the E-missile. Um, the E-missile is a 10-pound uh, hemispherical anvil, and it's curved, so it's shaped like your head. The name of the test is, the, is called the HIC test, which stands for Head Injury Criteria. So this is an internationally recognized standard for measuring the likelihood uh, and severity of, of uh, head impacts with the surface. So this is the same test that's used in pole vaults, uh, wall uh, padding, uh, helmet design, and the automotive industry. Uh, the way the test is conducted is that we're going to drop the missile from uh, a given height three times in the same location and then we're going to average the second two drops. We're going to raise it periodically to various heights to see how high we can drop it and fall below a HIC level of 1,000. So the number we're looking for is 1,000. The HIC of 1,000 is a 15% likelihood of death. So obviously the higher that we can go the better still staying under a HIC of 1,000. Uh, typical synthetic turf over a stone base the limit of the drop height, also called critical fall height, is about one meter. So we've set this up to be one meter for our initial drop. Now this field is built over Brock Power Base, so there's a shock pad underneath it. So natural grass, quality natural grass, will demonstrate a minimum critical fall height of 1.7 meters, so significantly higher than this. But in order to determine critical fall height, you need to drop it at various heights and then plot that curve and figure out where your critical fall height is going to be. Natural grass, again, will fall between 1.7 and about 2.2 meters. So 2.2 meters is well over six feet. So we'll do our first drops, and then we're going to jump ahead. We've been on this field and tested this before. We're going to jump ahead, and we're going to get up into those natural grass heights and see what we can get. So Edgar, go ahead and do the first drop. Okay, now conducting drop number one. Drop number one gives us a hick of 418. Okay. We have to wait a minimum of 30 seconds between drops. The parameters for the test are between 30 and 90 seconds pause between every drop, which essentially gives the infill and the system time to slowly recover and get ready for its next impact. Okay, drop number two. The hick of 440. Typically on a synthetic turf field over stone, we would be approaching a hick of 1,000 at this point. What that means is that this is the highest someone could fall from with a head impact and still be within a range below a hick of a thousand or below what would be considered a catastrophic head injury. So not very high. Okay, drop number three. Get a hick of 462. Okay hey guys, let's move it and then do this, 1.7. Just shift it over a little bit. Shift it backwards to work stone frame. So now we need to shift it over to the next height, which is in a different location. So now let's go ahead and get it up to the minimum of natural grass, which would be a 1.7 meter nice. critical fall height. Hmm? No, make sure this snaps. Is this 1.7 up here? That's uh, 1.6. Okay. 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 
So this would be the minimum critical fall height of a really good quality natural grass field. So now as you can see, I could take a much more significant fall and hit my head and let's see what the hit rating is. Drop number one. It's a hick of 817. Drop number two. Get a hick of 914. Okay. Drop okay. number three. Get a hick of 9.10. So because we're below a hick of 1,000 from a 1.7 meter drop, uh, this field is demonstrating the same safety characteristics from a head, in, head impact criteria perspective as a really good quality natural turf. Uh, University of Tennessee did studies benchmarking hick values on a variety of different quality natural turfs. And so today we feel very good about the safety uh, factor, especially considering uh, that this field is coming up on seven years old. Thank you.